What's going on people of the internet and today we'll be doing another Love Island video. This time it features Curtis and Amy. No, it's not Curtis Price. Yeah, Curtis, I know how much you wanted to be on Love Island. I wanted to be on Love Island and that's why I was wearing this cap. I thought it'd be so cool to get onto Love Island. It didn't work out. I think that they didn't want me on there just because of my looks. Um, I want to start by saying that I am going to read stuff off my fat. We'll just have the feathers here as like a prompt. Not because it's not from my heart, because it is, but it's because I want this to be the last conversation we have about these issues. So I want to make sure I've got everything out. She's already going in. Wow, that was quick. First of all, what is your definition of exclusive? Well, we all know my definition of exclusive. My definition of exclusive is that I've got big abs and I've got big head. Yeah. And I'm looking pretty sexy as well. I mean, if I take this cap off, I think all the girls would be screaming for me. Uh, just you and me. Cool, okay. So, I don't think you actually ever genuinely liked me at all. You're saying, oh, I don't think he really likes me. Well, obviously, Love Island, nobody really likes each other. It's filled with a bunch of cheaters and liars. Obviously, no one has feelings for each other. It's all fake, in my opinion. I think it's all fake for money and attention and fame. Okay. Like, for example, like Tommy and Molly sat up all night chatting in bed. You literally, like, give me a quick kiss, turn over, go to sleep. In the morning, if someone likes you, they want to have a cuddle in bed with you in the morning. I know, and I also want to be the person that gets up and makes everyone a coffee so everyone's ready for the morning. Okay. I feel like... I was an acceptably average placeholder till you found someone better. You did, and then she coupled up with Danny, so you came back to your backup plan. Wait, let me hold you there. Okay, so it's a thing called recoupling, which is allowed in Love Island. You're making it sound like it's against the law to recouple. Recoupling is perfectly natural. We always do it. I feel like I'm your backup plan. Okay. Me and Jordan look completely different. And I've always said I don't have a type. I don't think you actually fancy me. We're supposed to be exclusive. We're supposed to be this fabled half-boyfriend girlfriend which now makes me feel like an utter twat. Well, obviously, it's going to make you look an absolute idiot because you're on Love Island. I don't think many people would like you for being on Love Island, to be honest. I think you'd get quite a bit of hate from doing that. If I was on Love Island... First of all, how would I get into Love Island? Do I have the body and the locks to get onto Love Island in the first place? Most probably not. You guys don't want to know what's underneath my hat. It could be a sex toy, it could be something else. Disclaimer, it's just Curdy here. And you're having meaningful snogs with other girls when I'm not here. Like, how, how is that, how is that okay? How's that acceptable? Like, for me, absence made the heart grow fonder. For you, it was out of sight, out of mind. That's not true. That's not true. You got with other girls while I was away? Yes, but that isn't true. I've later found out you were willing to throw away four weeks of what we've built together. Wow, she makes four weeks seem like four years. Four weeks is barely anything. No one really shows their true colours in four weeks, do they? They can have this nice guy act in front of them. For the sake of... for two conversations. Now, she must be bloody special, is all I have to say. Oh, oh, oh. She's grilling them. She's grilling them. Oh, man. Even if, you're, if, even if you think with your head that you do like me, you, you clearly don't. This is what some females say. You're thinking with your dick, not your head. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, actually, because you don't want to be looking for someone who's fit all the time, because what's the point? They're probably going to break your heart and cheat on you. And that breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. I was so loyal to you, and you couldn't They're give that back to me. You, like, you couldn't give that back to me, and then to the fucking cherry on the cake. Cherry on your cake, really? Does she mean you popped the cherry? Not that type of cherry. I meant, like, literally taking it out of the packet and popping it onto the cake. You've stood up there and made a speech that made it sound to everyone like you were about to recouple with someone else, but then you went back to your backup plan. Every male has a backup plan. I've got a backup plan. And I should be single forever. I've loved spending every time, every minute with you. And I've meant everything I've said mm. to you. Yeah. I can't promise you that this won't happen again. 
This shows his true colours. He's not loyal at all. He can't keep to one girl. So, and I, and I don't want to ever hurt you how I've hurt you, so. You, do, you don't want to be with me. You're a liar. Nearly all of them say, oh, I want a future with you. And what happens next? They recouple. Recoupling happens so much in this show. I bet all the girls there just want to have a good time. And you know what I mean by good time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Also don't forget to turn your post notifications on to receive notifications of my videos in the future. Peace out, stay awesome, have a great day, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. How about I go cherry popping? That sounds like so much fun. I'm a bit of a